2024 is kicking off with a bang and Elemental just released a beta version of 3.19. Of all the features coming out, there is one of extra interest and I'm going to leave that to the end, but let's just quickly look at what they're giving you. You now have role permissions for the element manager. So in the previous version, you could deactivate or switch off certain widgets from being visible on your front end. But maybe you've got authors or editors on your website, but you want the authors to see certain widgets, but you don't want the editor to do. You can now do that with the element manager. Also, if you are using Elements Form and you've got an Akisma account, when you are creating your form, when you go to Actions after Submit, you can now enable it with Akisma as well. This could be useful for you, especially if you're suffering from lots of spam and dodgy things coming through your form. Another useful update is Elemental AI. So where you've got a container that's already built, you can do a variation of that. So I've got an existing container here with lots of stuff going on. I'm going to right click it and go to Generate Variations with AI. Of course, make sure you have got AI enabled within your elemental features. And what it's going to do is it will bring through an image of our container here, which it has done. And I'm going to hit backslash. I'm just going to pick one of the prompts, minimalistic design with bold typography about food. And we're going to hit generate. So what this will do is take something you've already built and it will then give you variations of that. And you can see that the variations are basically being generated and it's already gone and put one for us. And if I go and click this, you now get a different look to what I had before. Before. You might have got a template or a wireframe from somewhere else. There's so many places on the internet. You might pop one in, not too sure about it. Elemental AI now can quickly generate variations for you, but that is not the big feature I really wanted to focus on. Big one is display conditions for your elements. This is a big new feature. So basically, you've got something on your page. You might not want it to be visible until a certain condition is met. Now, what you've got to make sure, though, for everything I've shown you, you've got the Elemental free and pre Pro beta version 3.19 and in your elemental features you need to scroll down until you get to display conditions and you want to make sure that is activated. I'm back onto my food page and I can click anywhere I want. I can click on the heading, the text, a button, an image, a container. I can go anywhere I want. This is the beauty about this. But what you need to do is once you've clicked go to the advanced tab down here you will now see display conditions. You click that and you get a bit of a pop-up and we can now add in a condition. So I could click this, scroll down and say day of the week. Maybe we're only going to show this section or container or this banner or this product when the day of the week is you get the drill. What if I only want to make that container visible if you are a certain role? So I might have decided that you got to be a member or a subscriber or you got to sign up for something and then it becomes visible. So many people ask about this in forums. It's now here for you. This is a big, big feature for so many people. Who knew it was coming? Elemental Beta 3.19. It's time to get excited. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon.